Okay, I'll play, um, since we don't have the drummer today, um, I'll play a composition um, for that raga. The full composition is called Alab, Jor and Chala. Start with very slow and then we'll go a little bit uh, like in picking the notes and there is a pulse on that and then there is a fast part and that's called Jala. You know, that one.
This is the sitar form. And the first, before we start with the drumming or tabla, we play alab, and then there is a pulse called jor, and then jala. Um, first time I um, played, um, I got a call from Mick Jagger and uh, from the manager probably and worked a little bit and I played also there and then um, actually uh, they also recommended my name for uh, to Ozzy Osbourne that's his 50th anniversary um, birthday on you know, that one not anniversary his 50th birthday and then um, they were showing that in uh, BHF1 that, that show, my, I was playing in front of him, explaining the sitar and that kind of stuff in Beverly Hills Hotel. Quite experienced. The first time I got exposed with uh, Western uh, pop music um, by Gwen Stefani, um, uh, uh, there, uh, the Tony Canal mom called me and said that, you know, if you can play in that one, Tony Canal, the bass player. And I went to work. And uh, it was a quite experience, and I played in their song called Hey You. A little reorganized, but um, you know, I played the sitar on that, and that made a history um, because there's no doubt that album sold million, million copies of that, and it's called Tragic Kingdom, the album. Um, then, like five years ago, no, four years ago, I got a call from uh, Hollywood Bowl to play the song Within You, Without You. And I played that song, um, actually the Indian uh, ensemble, I organized that one. And I instead of the um, called Dilruba instrument, uh, which is the real Beatles they used uh, 45 years ago, I think close to 45 years ago, for Sgt. Pepper album, I uh, used uh, the double neck violin with a very famous uh, violin uh, player. Ginger Shankar. So she played in that and Satnam Ram Gotra played the tabla. So we did the Hollywood Bowl 2 show there and with Chip Trick. <clears throat> and then uh, it was very successful so Chip Trick wants to do more show and then we went to um, Vegas and uh, we did first year 9 show last year. Um, and the, this year we did 36 show there, very successful. Um, with the song that one and I'm at present I'm working uh, in reorganizing a song by um, by the chip trick old song it's called Mandacho and I put the sitar uh, like Indianized I put Tanpura and then which is a drone instrument and then I put the sitar uh, conversation with a flute and then I with that conversation I put uh, also and bassoon and uh, French horn together with the full orchestra. So it will be a really challenging song when it will come in the market probably. They are going to do the recording of this one. And I'm very glad that uh, Robin Zendel, who is the, their uh, lead singer, told me to do this and also helped me, Rick Nelson and uh, other um, their bass player, Tom, uh, to reorganize this one. So it will be a nice song when it will come in the market. However, this instrument I play for the Western uh, skull and Western music also. Recently I played with um, the Grammy Award winner. Um, his name is Brad Stock Michel. He's a very famous um, Broadway singer and he came in uh, with Patty Austin and uh, Ted Rundin and then we had the Beatles festival uh, this year, but it's more like a blackish, like a funkish, like that one. And instead of uh, this song, it's, uh, you know, it's like. We all know this song, you know. I found a girl, but they. Then. It's a completely different way they put this, um, you know, the, the Norwegian note. So it was my um, experience to play in Hollywood Bowl, uh, 18,000 people for three days there. So many people watching 
that uh, they're enjoying the sitar and he introduced me in me, uh, Brand Stoke Michel, that my friend Alok Daskupta, the sitar player. And with the, when I saw people over there, I was kind of really um, thinking that, mm, I'll say nervous, I don't know, but it was fun to do a different kind of music. And it was a transposition on E, and big challenge for me for that song. And then, um, you know, uh, if you know this song, I don't have to tell you the celebration coming. Probably all you know this one, and we I sing this one in different ways. So in Indian sofas, I sing this one. Noel, the first time you. We all know this song. So anything you want to play in sitar, it's possible to play in sitar, just like this song. You know this song very well, probably, hey Jude, but anything you play on sitar can be possible. And that's my try, that's my quest for music, that how can the Indian music or Indian instrument can be played for the rock music or jazz music or, or blues too. Because recently I played also with um, a very famous singer, she's 80 years old, a black singer. My experience in New Jersey last uh, two months ago, um, Gloria Lynn, a uh, very famous singer. So that's what I do and I enjoy that. Um, my main um, uh, shows are like a big concerts like that. But when I'm free, I love to play for the small parties also. Um, I get uh, call all the time from different shows, concerts like that. And also somebody's uh, uh, shows like, uh, I'll say like a wedding and all. And I play for the wedding because I'm part of uh, the wedding here in, in many in Los Angeles and San Francisco and all that area. The reason on that, that uh, you know, um, I play the sitar in the second half when I go for their um, reception. I play the songs uh, from like Mick Jagger or you know the um, Painted Like Black or Beatles songs with the sitar and my orchestra. So I get a lot of call but I am very picky and choosy about at what show I'll do. And if I get a call I'll think you know whether I want to play and most of the wedding I love to play. There is no problem about that for the wedding.